Old Boy has been through a few different incarnations. It's been in development for a little while. Can you talk a little bit about weathering the storm and finally having it produced? Sure. Um, I've been involved with Old Boy now for five years. So it's been a long journey for me. Not as long as some projects, mm -hmm. shorter than, you know, uh, but a, a fair amount of time. And originally, I think it was when I first heard about a possible American version was Justin Lin mm -hmm. was uh, involved and Roy Lee, one of the producers, uh, was working with Justin on it. Then that fell apart. Then I came on board when Will Smith and Steven Spielberg right. were going to do it. Will and I had worked together on I Am Legend, and he called me up and said, I want you to write my next movie. It's a remake of Old Boy. That's a good call to It's get. a good call to get, yeah. <laughs> when you're a screenwriter, that's a, yeah. that's a very nice call to, to get, and especially when he adds, and you have to come out to L.A. and meet Steven. Right. So that was very exciting, and that's how my involvement in the project began. After a year of trying to get that deal to work, everything fell apart. Mm -hmm. And so, and, but in the meantime, I had developed a 30 page treatment and got, and was, became so uh, passionate about the project and so immersed in it, it became a very personal uh, uh, project for me and really began to see the movie in my head and I had become uh, very invested in it. And so the producers still wanted to make the film, but there was no one involved at that point, no star, no director. But we, we, were, we all were very passionate about the project, and so we went forward. Um, and I worked with them for about a year uh, doing various drafts of the script until we all felt we had a version of the script that we were all very confident in and very much believed in. And that's when we started to then look for a director and an actor. And uh, after a while, Josh and Spike became those people who were going to make the film, and everything progressed from there. It's got to be a rare case for you in Hollywood where you're the sole writer, right? I mean, no, nobody else was tackling it it's, after you got involved. Right. It's, ve it's very rare. I sort, of, I sort of made a deal with the producers at the beginning because, because we were approaching it differently. It was... Uh, uh, they couldn't pay me much money up front of sort of in a normal deal, what I would usually get for, say, on a big studio mm -hmm. film. And so my sort of deal with them was, well, if you like what I do, if you, if, if you like the script that I turn in and you want to continue working with me, I want to be a co-producer on the project and I want to be as involved as I possibly can. And they were incredibly supportive of that. And luckily I turned in a draft that they liked. So. <laughs> and now Spike is, of course, a writer. Mm -hmm. uh, what did he bring to it on, on that end? Well, you know, one of the things that I'm incredibly indebted to Spike uh, for is he liked the script. He, he was very fond of the, the script when he, when he got it. And I think most people might assume that, oh, him being a writer himself, he would want to then mm -hmm. do a draft of the script, take it on. No, but I think exactly the opposite, because he is a writer, he respects the writer, right. and he was very supportive of me being involved in the project when he came on, and he, his notes were very specific and very, it was a lot of fine tuning. They were, I, I would probably say that the draft that he read is not all that different re substantially from what you see in, in the film. So he was incredibly supportive of, of me as the writer um, because I think he's a writer himself. And, and so there's, a, there's an understanding there.